Attention everyone, it's time to step up your game with Mando, the ultimate in personal care for the active, bold, and downright badass. Armed with mandelic acid, Mando beats odor-causing bacteria before they strike. Plus, it's aluminum-free, baking soda-free, cruelty-free, and dye-free. So feel confident about what you're putting on your skin. Mando isn't just for pits. It's a head-to-toe solution. Now let's talk deals. Father's Day is right around the corner, and what better way to show the big guy some love than freshness? Mando Starter Pack is the ultimate Father's Day present. Complete with everything he needs to smell like a champ. And here's the cherry on top. New customers? Get five bucks off the starter pack when they use the promo code CHAIL. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack. So don't wait around, guys. Head on over to shopmando.com, use the promo code CHAIL, and let the odor fighting revolution begin. Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler. And for 35. What, what do you think? I mean, where are you guys at on that? So I could not possibly care less. Now, with that said, I would like for this to work out the right way for Michael Chandler. That's a very big fight. Red Panda Night is still a real thing. Chandler got it. Went through the process, stayed patient, so on and so forth. Chandler cut a promo. Chandler's with this tequila company. And then he, he did an interview that was, was a word salad to a degree that somebody that speaks as well and now more recently takes... Speaking as serious as Michael Chandler, simply wouldn't do sober. So I, I mean, it's one of those things. But 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 he was talking about you know he's gonna wait for Connor and he's you know he's more resolute than ever and it, it was one of these stay positive rah 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 chants and it's like yeah yeah I'm all for that but if you get it that will look like good negotiated but if you don't and until you don't you're just unemployed and you've been unemployed for two years like there, there's nothing that is inspiring about it and moreover for the inspirational. Anthony Robbins style hype comment. You're counting on somebody else who doesn't share any of those beliefs and or processes. So it was just one of these tough spots. Like I, I feel as though Chandler's message needs to be very simple. I have a deal in place. Conor McGregor, when you return, it will be against me. I am getting on with it. With or without you, right? I mean, it, we've only seen the, the theory of I'm gonna sit and wait. We, we've only seen that with people going for title shots or that believe they're going for title shots. Like for every 10 people that say, I'm going to sit and wait, only one of them ever gets the title shot. It's just the wrong idea and the wrong theory. But but the reason of sit and wait is I don't want to risk it. I've, I'm number one. I got here, I climbed this mountain. I do not want to risk slipping and falling. Chandler's coming off of a loss. Connor's coming off a of five. I mean, I'm just sharing with you, like, like the outcome of the next match is not going to be impactful on this match. Now, nothing is absolutely true, right? Yes, the, the way you go out and the way that you look, you could go out there and look too good to where Connor doesn't want to fight you, or you could go out there and look so bad you, you end up losing the spot. So I, I understand that's not an absolute statement. I'm just saying we haven't seen it before, and I suppose we'll see where it goes. That there is a misconception that that is a sought after fight. Just for example, like when 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 there was a live gate waiting of you know twenty seven million dollars and those things got advertised, that there, there becomes a very natural misconception that people want to see that fight. People want to see Conor McGregor. Twenty seven million was for Conor McGregor. Twenty seven million on the next one's going to be for Conor McGregor. And that's not any kind of a slide on Chandler. I'm just not confident at all in making believe Connor versus Chandler is more unlikely to happen now than ever. Than ever. And and it's been unlikely a number of times. It was even denied that it was going to happen June 29th before it was signed to happen June 29th. It was sought after very hard for a very meaningful amount of time for UFC 300, of which did not happen. It was sought after very hard for a meaningful amount of time in December of last year. Like I'm just sharing for you, as, as unlikely as those matches were to take place, evident of the fact that they didn't take place, right now is by far the least likely we've ever seen that that match would happen. So what do you do if you're Chandler? Like, very hard to advise him.
he has done nothing wrong. Michael Chandler has done nothing wrong. The mere fact that we're sitting back and questioning him or even doing it from a teasing standpoint, I realized that was my tone three minutes ago. I get the hypocrisy within my own statement, but it's wrong because he hasn't done anything wrong. But, you know, to point out some of those finer details that no, people are not dying to see that fight or even care if they never see the fight. That's not what that is. And there's never been a 20 plus million dollar box office in the history of time where that statement was true. So it's not as though the people that are involved in looking at it from the outside don't understand. But but if it were true, I mean, you got to understand, if it were true, that we're going to see that fight so bad. Oh, okay, great. Well, then do it your best you can, which is take half of it. Take Chandler, put him somewhere, and I imagine you're going to have a really big gate, right? Well, except do you, you, you see the difference now? Do you see where now you're, you're not arguing against the statement that I just did? All right. It just takes a lot. It didn't used to. It used to just take Connor. And that's just not the situation now. Connor's return was resisted by part three, which is the company, the ones that were up until that point with the arms widest open. And it's going to be a situation to put the toothpaste back in that tube. It can most certainly be done. I'm just an outsider kind of trying to watch Chandler. Guess what's real? Guess where the tequila's at? Guess, you know, you kind of piece this together. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. That's the stance. I'm going to wait. And at some point, you're going to have to ask yourself. And you don't ever have to tell us, but you are going to have to ask yourself. You're going to have to be real realistic and ask yourself for what? We've never seen before. I'm going to wait work. This one is a very uniquely different situation. And we've also never seen I'm going to wait said by anybody that did not believe they were the number one contender. This match is quite literally about nothing at a weight class that has been made up for an amount of rounds that is inappropriate, quite frankly. They should be fighting for three rounds. Had it been a three-round fight, the fight would have gone off. Just, Just to explain to you the importance of those numbers. They often get overlooked. People think the only only numbers that matter are the zeros that are following the commas, but no, that fight would have stayed together if it was three rounds. Khabib would have fought his 30th time if they did it at 170. So see what road that goes down. It's the tremendous fight about nothing that was never about anything. It's more unlikely than ever to happen. And until then, you have a guy that is unemployed.